So Apple Intelligence just dropped on your new iPhone. What is it and how do you get it? I'm here to explain. So all you have to do is download that Apple iOS 18.2 and then head over to settings and then click Apple Intelligence. It's a new menu and all you have to do is toggle it on and you've got it. So the first thing you'll notice when you've got your new iPhone is the new Siri. It's a glowing ring around the outside and I think it looks pretty schmick. So they've also added some new functionality for this camera control button on all the new iPhones. If you hold it down, it opens up this visual intelligence search mode. So you can do things like search for objects using Google Lens. So you can either ask it a question about what you're looking at or click search and then it searches with Google. So then boom. And then there's Apple writing tools, which is probably the biggest announcement out of Apple intelligence. Highlight a piece of text and it'll rewrite that for you in a friendly, concise or professional way. And then if you really want, you can then add a chat GPT extension and it'll even write things for you. So the change that you'll notice the most are probably the new summarized notifications on your lock screen. So you don't actually have to launch any of these apps to see what's inside, maybe an email or a text message. They'll tell you right here on the lock screen. Then there's also a new reduce interruptions focus mode. You can customize all your notifications from specific people. So maybe you only want text messages from your boss while you're out. Maybe you only want certain apps to send you notifications. You can do this as well. So there are also some new image creation tools my favorite is the new Gen Moji, which lets you essentially create any emoji that you can possibly think of in Apple style. It won't look like a Samsung emoji, don't worry. And then there's also Image Playground, which is exactly what it sounds like. You can basically just create an image of whatever you want. It's very cartoon style, but it even pulls in photos from your camera roll into the app. It's so weird. Why would anyone use this? That is just creepy, dude. So that's all the basics of Apple intelligence. Hopefully you know what's inside your phone now, but there's actually a lot more than that. And I've summarized it all in an article at manofmany.com. Let me know what your favorite feature of Apple intelligence is so far. Have you been playing around with it? Have you created any funny images in the image playground? Let me know in the comments. And that's Apple intelligence. See you guys next time.